have with us tonight uh, combat photographer uh, Finbar O'Reilly, who is a Canadian, uh, not by birth, born in Wales, moved to Canada as a kid, uh, grew up here, worked uh, actually at the Ottawa Citizen, had his first, uh, one of his first summer gigs as a reporter, uh, ended up also working at the National Post, the Globe and Mail. Uh, the part of his career that's uh, the focal point tonight uh, was a long period when he worked with a Reuters news agency, and along the way, turned went from a hack into a, a photographer, uh, took up photography and uh, became a full-time photographer. And the position with Reuters, he was based in West Africa, uh, in Dakar, uh, but covered uh, Congo, Libya, Afghanistan, uh, later for Reuters moved to Gaza, covered the Israel-Palestine conflict. Uh, if you heard him on the radio today, he was on CBC Radio and on CBC Television, Wherever conflict was happening, Finbar was there, and that's what he's going to talk to us about tonight. And I, I'll, I'll steal this line that I heard him say earlier on the radio. Uh, the book that he's produced, Shooting Ghosts, it's a co-memoir, which is kind of unusual in itself, but it's a jointly written memoir with a U.S. Marine, uh, T.J. Brennan, who he met uh, while on an embed assignment in Afghanistan. <laughs> met and uh, I think the professional relationship became a friendship and worked together and in the end uh, collaborated and uh, TJ has since become a journalist and is the co-author of this book and it's it's a really unique joint perspective because we have uh, memoirs by war correspondents uh, we have memoirs by soldiers rarely do we get both of those perspectives together and so it's a really unique opportunity to look at conflict. Uh, Finbar has spoken in the past to a class I teach here at Carleton called Journalism in Conflict. I think we're guilty of romanticizing uh, the work of war correspondents and combat photographers. And so it's important, really important, especially in a school of journalism, that we get to hear from somebody like Finbar, who, yes, I guess, has lived this kind of swashbuckling, romantic, foreign correspondent kind of life, but can tell us uh, the, the psychological uh, cost that, it, uh, that there is uh, for doing that kind of work. 